There's an old saying, a phrase that is used. I'm sure you've heard it, maybe even said it yourself. That phrase is this, take five. It means to stop for a moment to catch your breath and regroup before getting back into the action. That's what I'm asking you to do right now. Stop what you're doing and take five minutes to let the Word of God breathe new life into you and allow the Spirit of God to grant you your second wind, to not only face the journey ahead of you, but to finish strong. The clock is already ticking, so let's get started. Many people have what they call their life verse. A scripture from the Bible that defines them as a person or reminds them of their purpose. Jesus' entire life was a verse. All of the verses. John says that he's the Word made flesh. But there's a verse in the Bible where Jesus defines his life mission. And that's in Mark chapter 10, verse 45. And in that verse, Jesus says, The Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. The man that had the greatest impact on the world came to minister and to give. That word minister means to serve. Paul says in Philippians chapter 2, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God hath also highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. In Matthew chapter 23, verse 11, Jesus says, He that is greatest among you shall be your servant. This is the miracle of Christ, the mind of Christ. This is the method of Christ. To give of oneself is the greatest of all gifts. As a matter of fact, Jesus says in John 15, 13, No greater love hath any man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. In Acts chapter 20, Paul, speaking to the Ephesian elders, he reminds them that Jesus said it is more blessed to give than to receive. During this time of pandemic, this global crisis, it's tempting to develop this save yourself mentality. But Jesus tells us that if we seek to save our lives, we would lose them. But if we would lose our lives in service to him, we would find them. We don't need a save yourself mentality. We need a give yourself mentality. We don't need a self-serving mindset. We need a serving others mindset. This is where life truly is experienced. That abundant life that Jesus talked about. Our homes, our communities, our churches, our world, they are in desperate need of men who will step up, show up, minister, and give. There is no higher calling. There is no purer ambition. And now is the time. There's no better time for us to reflect the nature and character of Jesus. We may have or 
not have a life verse, but our lives should be verses. They should reflect the pages of the Bible and the person of Jesus. Paul said in 2 Corinthians 3, 2, Ye are our epistles written in our hearts, known and read of all men. Those around us need to be reminded of, of a happy ending, of a future and a hope that Jesus is still working in our midst and he is still saving lives. And the greatest way they're going to know this is when men like me and you roll up our sleeves to minister and to serve. Hey guys, be sure to click like and subscribe if this video helped you. And most importantly, Share it with someone you think would benefit from a spiritual breather themselves. God bless you. I'll catch you on our next break.